there'll be a great stone cross, visible for miles. Can I have a go? Nick off. Give him a go. Here. This is the focal point. The altar goes here. Three most interesting things you know about history. The history of the world, you mean, brother? That'll do. Well, the Sumerians drank beer through a straw, and the pharaoh's servants got buried alive with him inside the pyramids after he kicked the bucket. And. And? The man who helped decode the Rosella Stone also shows how light moves in waves. Where'd you learn all this? Not from Brother Matthew, surely. That's all in Wilson's ear, big and your old brother. You should be there. <laughs> Come on. Smoke up. Are we allowed to smoke? Well, we are. Think of her. If you can't build a pyramid, I suppose a church is the next best thing. I wish it had the dome. Why? Because of the dome of discovery. You know, the festival of Britain. What's that you got? It's a bit of the Sphinx's nose. Guard it closely if it's the real thing. Yeah, it is. Brother Matthew says so. Hmm. There's no reason this couldn't have been quarried at the time of the pharaohs. Very old sandstone. Quite porous. You know what porous means? No. through the rock. There are tiny holes that let in water and air. But more than that, they soak up the lives of everyone that comes into contact with the rock. Great men with visions of better worlds. Ordinary men that keep the wheels of this one turning. You should keep this in your pocket. Maybe you'll rub off on it. Be like a diary, a bank. All the great moments of your life held in permanent trust. I, your church will be for you when it's built. Get 
What's he doing down there? Slanty eyes reckons that when it rains, like, it's gonna be a swimming pool. You didn't believe David, did you? He did! Come on, Wheels, it's tea time! It's nothing but a great big hole in the ground! It's not a pool, you donkey! Just stop that! Stop it! Stop it! Bait. Let him have it, son. Can't be. Let him have it, mate. Everyone on the toes. There's a half a bloody mile inside the crease. Yeah, You're the blind one, pal. Yeah, right. something before they all kill each other? Good punch up never hurt anyone. Mm, nor a broken jaw, nor a broken nose, neither, I suppose. Just so long as it doesn't put too serious a dent in your workforce. Meaning? The way you're using these children, it's nothing short of slave labor. While well, I'm rolling in dough for my pain. These kids are no better off, no better, no better fed, no, no, no better clothed yeah, than they were in England. The only difference is you're working them after death instead of... Instead of what? Teaching them adverbial clauses of time. Half of them can't even read or write their own names. They're not being prepared to face life in, in, any, in, 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 in any way. They're, they're, they're cut off from the world, home. The influence of women. I mean, they haven't even got shoes. Women? What do they need women for when they've got you? David. What? Just get on the wheel. What a team, eh, boy? 
Once we finish that, brother. We don't stop here, boy. We'll build the seminary next. Yeah? Then a college with a great library and a giant dome over the main reading room. Held up by a keystone instead of a cross. You can help me sink the keystone. Come on, you blinking idiot. We haven't got all day. <laughs> blinking idiots. <laughs> you can be the keystone, son. Yahoo! <laughs> Is this what you're putting on the wall? More or less. I'll have a bit more space for uh, background and whatnot. Can you shove a river in? Possibly. And docks and cranes. And a, a big cathedral on a hill. Anything else? Lava beds. Give us a couple of them too. I'll do my best. some packing when I realised how late it was. You'll turn up. Probably fallen asleep somewhere. Aren't you going to bed? Old owl like me doesn't need much sleep. Oh, I've given you your docks and cranes. Oh, grip. And a cathedral. And just for fun, I put in the bee box. <laughs> That's creepy. Wilson must be scared of them bees. He never wants to go down there, no. That's no good. David was scared of the bees when I had him. And they could tell. That's why I got stuck. Strange boy. The poison's in his system now. One more sting and... He'll be a goner, as they say, in the classics. You mean, uh, Dad? As the proverbial. Now, what shall we do about Madame? Can you give her yellow hair? And big blue eyes? And a bright red mouth. Why? Just cause. What are you doing out? Looking for Wilson. He ain't come back from work. What's 
wrong, mate? What's happened? Was it David? Did David hit you? Tell me. He needs a doctor or something. Oh, yes. Yes, provided he's decently looked after. Of course. Uh, there is something else that uh, troubles me uh, rather more. This young boy has lacerations to the backs of his legs. Recent? Well, not very. England, then. I can't account for everything that happened to these children before they arrived here. Well, there is some indication that this boy has been interfered with. Exactly what are you saying, Alan? Well, nothing conclusive without... Surely this warrants a, a, a further... Would you be raising this matter? I thought I'd talk it over with you first, of course. I appreciate that, Alan. Well, I'll leave it up to you, then. You can rely on me. I'll keep you informed. You must be very patient with Wilson. Be kind to him. Look after him. What's wrong with him? Somebody's done a, a very bad thing to him. It might make him nervous about being touched, even, even by his friends, just in the course of normal events. Do you uh, understand what I'm saying? Who 
the beer I won't he? In, in time. Hmm? Scouse on it. Scouse on it. Nothing when you came here. You'd be nothing if you left. Someone going to make you book? No, not exactly. There's a publisher. He's offered me a job proofreading. Is that where you prove you can read? <laughs> no, not exactly. It's where you check new books for spelling mistakes and, and the like. You'd be good at that. But uh, I haven't got much time, and, and there's about a dozen things I'd like to explain to you about. Why, why aren't you taking this? Why not? Bird, will you listen to me? Don't you want to know more? No. It was my ticket once out of a family I didn't much like. But it's not taking me anywhere anymore. You, you and Wilson, will you look me up when you leave? I don't know when that will be. You were going to tell me about leaving, weren't you? You weren't going to just slink off. Travels fastest or travels alone. You, uh, you 
look after each other now, huh? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how to do it better for you. Saying much. Just thinking. What about? Nothing. Wilson's going to be all right from now on. Taking care of the problem. I've asked Brother Jerome to give Mary blue eyes and a nose. Like this. It's funny. Filling in all the gaps and watching the whole person coming out through the plaster, isn't it? Don't you reckon? Like seeing a pattern in a jigsaw. Or remembering something from when you were a kid. It's just being, what's the word? Happy. I suppose you're too young to understand that. But it do. It's like the time. I still had my mum and dad. I used to be able to see all of it. Like at the pictures or something. But now, it's all falling out of my head. Just a little bit. By a little bit. And it's just a... Flipping great hole, where me folks used to be, with only a hat or a tie or a dress in it. No faces. I can't hear their voices no more. Sin. It's the middle of the night, you daft bugger. That was Adelaide David's. Do you hear me? Now go back to sleep.
Who's there? Is someone there? Is someone there? Sorry, Zafed. I'm sorry. I didn't listen to you. When you needed me. Maybe I never did half as well as you. I think I might have some small idea how you feel about your friend. Life can be full of sad things. We're often forced to say goodbye when we least want to. Uh, as if our hearts were running some stupid obstacle course. Always chasing after what we can't possibly have. It's hard to imagine why God made us that way. But he must have had a reason. We won't forget Wilson, will we? If you'd like to speak to a trained counsellor about the issues raised by the programme, a free phone number is coming up shortly. The concluding part of this drama can be seen tomorrow evening on BBC One at 9.30.